uh, Scott left us an order of service, but I don't know if I'm going to follow that this morning. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do it the Hopi way. <laughs> Father, Lord, uh, thank you again for this day, Lord. Thank you again so much for all that you do for us, Lord. Thank you for this family to be together as uh, brothers and sisters in Christ, and Lord, how important that is for us, um, Lord, so that we can walk in the Spirit, Lord, and not fulfill the flesh, Lord, as we learned this morning from Sunday school, from Wally, uh, from Galatians, Lord. Thank you for that message this morning and the reminder, Lord, of our sinful nature and how, how, that, how that can destroy us. And we're so thankful we have a Savior, Jesus Christ, that gave us a path to you. And uh, through his death on the cross, uh, our sins are forgiven. And the Holy Spirit dwells within us. And we have all these wonderful opportunities to fulfill um, by walking in your spirit and uh, raising our families, Lord. Thank you for that. Thank you for um, all that you do. Be with the merits as they uh, travel. I'm not sure where they're at, but uh, bring them back safely. And uh, be with our services today, Pastor Chief, as he presents God's Word. And uh, thank you again. We pray that your son's name. Amen. I almost complained about there's no coffee. <laughs> okay. Oh, and then we have a opening scripture. So let's 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 read that scripture here. Psalms 95 1. Psalms 95, 1, 2, and 3. So uh, please stand and let's, let's read that. Those verses here. Psalms 95, 1, 2, and 3. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. And everyone says, Amen. Okay, now we'll do songs. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Blue Psalm Book. Blue Psalm Book. And we'll, we'll uh, turn to page 444. I love to tell the story. Page 444, Blue Samba. I love to tell the story. Thank you. 
Let's uh, turn to page 596. I surrender all. 596, and please stand. 596. Scott and Carrie are traveling. I'm not sure where to. Does anyone know? California. California? North California. North California. And they're going to return Thursday. Thursday. Okay. So we have a church Wednesday? No church Wednesday. And um, are there any other announcements we need to know about? NFL football season's coming up. That's an announcement. Now, uh, let's see here. Yes? Uh, Larry Lush's cousin, brother, uh, Alvin, Gabby, and everybody else is brother. Uh, I just three young. Oh, okay. Yeah. But they're 18 year old and Gabby. 
When did Jason Lee's uh, funeral for? Alexander Yazi. Al Alexander Yazi, mm -hmm. Larson's cousin. Mm -hmm. He passed away yesterday. Alexander Yazi. Where's the funeral going to be at? They're not sure yet. They're not sure yet? Okay, so that's a uh, prayer for the, for the Yazi family. And uh, are there any other announcements? Scripture reading. Yeah. And that's going to be done by Mr. Knox. So. So we're just following. Yes. Okay, Psalm 119. Psalm 119, verses 97 <coughs> through 104. Everyone, please stand. Psalm 119, starting in verse 97. Oh, how I love thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Though through thy commandments, that's the end of my life. I have more understanding than all my teachers. For thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients. to my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through my precepts I hear understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Everyone said, Amen. Amen. Amen.
268. Brown song of the precious Lord. Take my hand. is Mr. Pastor Paul Cheek. And somebody wants to dance? Or you're not all here? Are we at the right church? Here we go. All right. Pastor Cheek. Amen. 
good morning. chapter 1, verse 1 through 3. And we're going to pick up a, a verse there. I want you to uh, pay attention to that. All right. Uh, Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of God and sustenance our brother unto the church of God, which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints with all that uh, in every place call upon the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, both theirs and ours. Praise be unto you, and peace from God, our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning. We need you. Uh, we need your help. We need your uh, comfort, blessings, and we need directions. We're needy people here on earth, so we just need help again this morning as we look at the, your book and help the Spirit to help us to see what we have uh, need of or uh, direction that we need to go and help us to see where we are. And thank you. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The name of my sermon this morning will be Where You Are Makes All the Differences. You notice that where you are makes all the differences. Look at the verse again, verse number two. It says, unto the church of God, which is at Corinth. Notice that Corinth. Corinth would be like a church in our world today. And then to them that are sanctified, and then here's the word, in Christ Jesus, so not only would a person be in church, but they can also be in Christ. So being in Christ would really make the difference. And that's what your Sunday school teaching was about. You have the flesh and you have the spirit. And that is really true. If you can just walk in the flesh, uh, you're not going to have so much uh, uh, thing going for you and uh, you're going to have some uh, struggles in life you're going to have some doubts you're going to uh, just uh, wonder what's going on with this world or what's going on with you and, and that is really so in our time yeah and uh, you know, uh, we're drawn to close probably to the coming of the Lord soon. And uh, all the evidence are out there. And uh, I hope uh, that you will uh, just uh, take knowledge of uh, uh, these verses here. You know, the, the, the church of Corinth had so many problems like any church in the world, they, they, they can't, I think they, they have some church split in uh, chapter 11. And then they had uh, different other problems, tongue problems, and uh, so many divisions, so many contentions. And, you know, the, the, the real answer is the Lord. 
uh, Jesus Christ is your answer. You can come to church anywhere in this world and sit in and listen, go home and uh, go home with nothing. And you, you go home like you came and uh, uh, no result in your life. And that, that can be true to any person in this world uh, this morning, all over the world, anywhere in the world. Uh, people come together uh, in the church and uh, uh, they, they get nothing out of their services. And, and, and that's why you have your problems at home, you have marital problems, you have your uh, uh, many other anxieties, many drug problems, and uh, all those problems come because Christians don't uh, really get down to uh, letting the Lord lead them. Probably 
very energetic now. And then he probably uh, run around, stomp his feet, and uh, uh, bang on the pulpit, and uh, and uh, maybe jump in the air on a Billy Sunday and kick and all that. And, uh, and they like him because he's a uh, uh, very uh, monstrous. Oh uh, well, yeah, uh, I can see it. Uh, no, no, what? Even in Nanana Port, it's a whole net leader. So, Bells and I are the Nanana Port. Even Nasha be quite a net for Sahola. You know, in the world, uh, you'll have that. You know, that actually was a cause for uh, uh, kind of a, a skip, uh, some something here. Uh, notice uh, First Corinthians 16, uh, 12, that I must answer. Uh, first Corinthians 16, 12. As touching our brother Apollos, this is Paul talking, I greatly desire him to come unto you with a brother. Uh, I believe he's having church meeting, maybe a uh, camp meeting. So he said, hey, Apollos, would you come? And then knows what he said. But this one, but his will, notice that his will, that's his own personal feeling, was not at all to come at this time, but he will come when he shall have a convenient time. There were some problems, that's why Paul didn't want to get involved in that again. And you know, I mean, Apollos didn't want to get involved in that again because he knew, I like the man, he doesn't want the problem to continue because of him, because he's so energetic, so he, he stopped on the uh, pulpit and the, on the ground and stuff. And uh, people like him, and they say, oh, well, we'll listen to him. So he back off. You know, that, that happens in churches. Just because somebody is loud and, uh, uh, and whatever he uh, wants to give you, you might like that. But he, he ought to come for the Lord, yeah. Right. Come to church for the Lord, not because the person... Uh, has a certain personality. Hashi knows that any nagali had not done it. One time was preaching in the uh, Tuba City camp meeting. And then I noticed that a lot of people came in and packed in. And, and then I said, hey, this is pretty good. Uh, church seats around uh, two or three hundred people. And I said, hey, something's going on. And then at, the, at dinner, they were saying that we're, we heard Paul Chief was preaching, so we came. And this is not the Paul Chief we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> and that guy was about 30 years old, and I probably was about 50 or 45 or 50. But the guy, young, young kid, uh, was <coughs> it, what they were looking for. So actually, there's not Paul Chief, so don't. Don't get caught up in him. He's a singer and a preacher. And uh, so they thought that that was me. So I drew a crowd for just one evening. And then that's time and that's uh, the message. Uh, half of them were gone. And so you need, you know, Christianity, sometimes the swing is like that. It's all fleshly. It's not based on who is uh, preaching. He ought to see the Lord in preaching, yeah. It's not based on who is preaching, yeah. It's not based on who is preaching, they not suspended. They had had not that. Oh, I don't know. 
او حشنده او یینه اپی نه کد نه زدی کان نه زدی آنده آدا ایتانده پاچی بر ارتش ایدن یعنی کنده کو ایدن لح کو اید این شد و نه کو اشن نی نگاه دو 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 تایش کان سوگان سی ऐसी जाते को तो को तो नहीं तन जंदे ऐसे तो ऐ आस्था ही सहनां तेरी का एंड आसो लुक एट वर्स नंबर थ्री थ्री चैप्टर थ्री वर्स नंबर थ्री फॉर ये आर ये कार्नल ही से फॉर वेर एस देर इज वन यू एनवीएन दैट्स व्हाई यू कैन हैव वन यू एक्चुअली जस्ट लेवेट as you just go in the church. Uh, no spirit in your walk. You're going to have some envy in. You're not in Christ. You're going to have some envy in. And strife. You're going to have some strife. You're going to have some uh, and divisions. Are you not carnal? Are and walk as men. อาทิตย์เสด็จนั่นเสด็จนั่นเสด็จนั่นเสด็จนั่นเสด็จนั่นเสด็จนั่นเสด็จนั่นเสด็จนั่นเสด็จนั่นเสด็จนั่นเสด
so I give them the information, and then they'll, uh, okay, I guess you're the right person. <coughs> they sent me to the, wherever I want to go, maybe I is then or something. Uh, look at chapter 3. So at Corinth, you have these problems. Up on the end, uh, we'll, we'll go what, what it looks like in Jesus. But first we're going to look at what it's like at uh, just an average uh, church in this world. Chapter 3, verse 1. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto ye were not able to bear it, neither yet now are ye able. For ye are yet carnal, for whereas there are is among you envyings and strife and divisions. Are ye not carnal and walk as men? Let the Paul, let the Nequan, chapter 3, 1 Corinthians, begin. Echo, she saw neither. I call the ayat up a little cavatis, the hobbit scavatis to him. You know, carnality, uh, uh, no growth will cause a church to Not, not, not very good, yeah. If you don't grow, you're not going to be uh, so good like, like you wish you want to be. You're not excited. You ought to be excited. Hey, did you know my name is written in the book of life? Did you know that Jesus is coming again for me? Did you know that he's, uh, there's going to be a trump of God, and uh, not the one that's running for president, <laughs> but uh, the trump of God is going to sound, and then uh, and I'm going to go up. Did you know that? Did you know that I'm going to be in heaven? I'm going to be changed. I'm going to be different. Hey, I'm excited. Hey, this is, the, this is just the minor, minor leaks <coughs> on here. Minor league, yeah. Oh, 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 ah. When you get to heaven, some of you will be surprised. Uh, you never say in church. And uh, what are you supposed to do when you get to heaven? Hey, you're supposed to be singing, praising God. If you don't know how to do that, how you can, uh, you're going to have to get somebody to teach you that, that went before you. Maybe even the guy that you thought were very unspiritual. Well, guide you through some, uh, uh, what they call it, um, 101, that's what they say, that are the, in the oh, uh, introduction, okay, how to pray the Savior, uh, you learn that uh, in heaven, maybe you'll go through that, I, I'm human, so that's what I'm thinking, and uh, so I don't know if it's going to be in, instantaneous uh, change uh, where you uh, learn everything. You know, the, the, the other thing that they had is uh, chapter 3, verse number 4, and it, it, it is they had the party spirit, yeah. Uh, they said, for a while one said, I am a Paul, and another I am a Apollos. Are you not carnal? You know, people uh, will tend to cite uh, one group, yeah. And they develop tricks in churches. They don't want to associate with uh, that crowd, this crowd. Uh, you'd rather be with associates, not the gays, not the knowledge, uh, and so forth. You know, that, that can be in your church. 
anywhere in the world because you're not in, this, in Christ. Even in not. And that has it is a Lordy given so I saw in the side of the whole look. God was I had an end of it in the side of 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 the side Solutions, chapter 6, verse number 1. They had no solutions. This morning's Bible study had uh, some insight on idolatry. That's what you'll find in chapter 10. And then they, they did communion with sin in their hearts, and uh, some of them were sick, some of them were dying, and some were already dead. And they didn't realize that it was their own doing, causing them to get sick, causing them to die, but, but yet they didn't see it. And here, 1 Corinthians 6, verse number 1, Dare any of you having a matter against another, go to the law before the unjust and not before the saints. Look at five. I speak to your shame. Is it so that there is not a wise man among you? No, not one that shall be able to judge between his brethren. You know that that really is true. I used to just solve problems for uh, in the Lord for people. They didn't have to be. They just approached me, and I would uh, try to work it out for them. They may not be from my church. They may not be from my area of the reservation. Even a guy out of Scottsdale uh, came before me. He said, I go to the Scottsdale Baptist Church, but I have a problem <coughs> with my level wife. I said, are you saved? He said, yes. <laughs> Get the book. Tell me how it happened. And he pushed it back to me. And he said, you tell me how I can be saved. You know, God got saved. That's all he needed was to get saved. You know, a lot of your problem is just that you need to be saved. And everything will be solved. And that's why I encountered at... Um, Super City Department of Correction. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to be in, in uh, have sessions at 10 with uh, these inmates. You know, they like to come. You know, uh, I've seen uh, some of them get saved. And I, I even did some studies with them. And uh, some of it uh, just... Uh, have tears running down their face when they when they, when they read the book when they uh, read the Bible I let them read the Bible themselves and uh, and uh, and you know God works 
That's why I'm telling you, and not why I'm doing that. I say God works. He can resolve your problems. Oh, are you in the hot Go down and in the house, London is clean. Oh, didn't let the lot eat the city. I thought they used to have DNA office in Chuba City. And she said, uh, I wouldn't, uh, I'm filing a divorce against my husband. And I said, Did you uh, talk to your pastor? And I, I knew her and I knew her pastor. And she said, Yes. Uh, what, what was the decision? And he could not. He couldn't uh, make it work. <clears throat> and then I said, would you have uh, me that I have to help you? Let me try. And uh, so I said, I'm in point. I went to his, uh, her husband in Chichi and, and I set up an appointment with him and the uh, wife. You know, at the end of that session, they were rejoicing, they were hugging, they were... It, it actually was just no communication that was the reason they had a problem. You know, a lot of that is going on in our world, yeah. We, we don't know how to communicate. So we get uh, in trouble, we, we get uh, mess up our lives. And even between a child and a parent, yeah, uh, that can be so. Uh, you know, litigation is not going to get you back to a better standing. You know, I actually well, took part in a peacemaking session. And I just was sitting there, and the pastor, and then the peacemaking was uh, taking place. And this guy was asked, actually the, the moderator for that one uh, was uh, a Christian. And so he asked the husband, did you go to church? And he said, yeah. And the wife said, did you go to church? Yeah. He said, well, I don't listen to your pastor. He kind of got on them. And then uh, I think they, they kind of thought they would resolve it. But that was his job. That was not mine. I was sitting in just in case I need to help them out with something. Uh, so a peacemaking court is different than uh, uh, your Bible solution. So you know, Later they divorced. A sad day, yeah. You know, if they just went the Bible way, things would have come out right. Chapter 3 and verse number 15. But if I tarry long that thou mayest Know how that thou oughtest to behave thyself. For this is the way over. That's Timothy 3 and verse 15. If any man's work, like to work, work at church, shall be burned. For testing reason, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, <clears throat> yet so as by fire. You know, all the work that's taking place in uh, verse number 12, you know, uh, building on gold, silver, precious stone, wood, hay, and stubble, and when it's tested, <coughs> Some of them will just burn up. Loss of rewards. When 
new fuss and fight and divide. You can't uh, resolve your own problem here on earth. You will lose rewards. Oh, I know the next of the nonish. So it's little. Hey, but I thought this. The last day had all the years. I found the boy such a yard on the Kobe's Yana. Oh, no, then I start to have it in the eggs and the eating it, Thanos, and the eggs you saw had nay. The had nay, and he loved the great all our best the great. So I said, I didn't need any door, send door, or door a cap what the needle. You know, you ought to be sure of what you're doing here in church, anywhere in the world, yeah. Do you want to be a success as a Christian? Do you want to come out on top, at least make some headway, yeah? So that, that's the idea for you to be a better Christian than just being an average, mediocre type Christian. You need to go beyond that. Uh, be available. What can you do as a pastor? What you, can you do for them? You know that this here at Corinth or at any church in the world, there's going to be divisions. There's going to be people are going to say preaching is foolishness. They won't have no growth. They won't have party spirit. They won't have no solutions but litigations and then loss of rewards. You know that's sad. Sad. And then in Christ. You know what in Christ is on me? Look at chapter first Corinthians here. First Corinthians. So chapter ten again. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions. In Christ, ye have the same vocabulary. Christ, baby, no one disagrees on the, the operation, yeah. That's why you're a church somewhere in the world. You ought to agree on something more so at church than out in your secular world. I'm sure you obey your boss, yeah. They tell you to come at eight, you come at eight or even before. They told me to come on, uh, I think it was on Tuesday, to come in at uh, 7.15. That's daylight time, that's 6.15, that's standard. So you know what? I can fool around and miss that. And they want to, this is what I told it. They usually boost it until another year. 2023, that's my best chance if I'm mission. So I have to kit what the world is saying to me. Come in at 7.15. And they, they say, you come 30 minutes before that to register. So that Take another time off of uh, trying to come in at 
Uh, so it's going to be 5 4 to 5 if that I got me there to sign in. You know, the world tells you something and you try to obey God. <clears throat> and you get a job, same thing. You come to work on time. <clears throat> you know, in life, I just learn to be the best I can be. You know, in my cold mind, I was number nine on the union list. You know, people died. I went from 21 all the way down up to nine. And then when I got a job with the coal mine, that, that, that it was at first, I, I just uh, cleaned the grease, all the stinky grease. I said I wanted to be the best grease cleaner in the whole wide world. <clears throat> and I did. That boosted me into the next position. I actually became a crane operator, a chair picker operator, and then a crane operator. And then they asked me to become an oiler. From an oiler, I became the shovel operator. And from the shovel operator, they, they said, oh, we want you to become the pit boss. When I resigned, they said, we'll give you a new vehicle, uh, free gas, free oil change. Uh, you have personal freedom to use the vehicle as you want. Uh, it's a company vehicle, but it's going to be you know, for your personal use. Hey, you know, this is why I said no. I, I decided that uh, the Lord called me to be a preacher. So, you know, because I can uh, do something, I can do something in the Lord also. All right. So unity. Look at chapter 3. Where you were. First we're in chapter who then is Paul? Who is the Paulus? Yay, Paul! Yay, Paulus! You know how I said? But minister. But ministers. In Christ there are ministers. They're not the big shots. So you prefer, I have a, me a message on the, the word preference. Uh, you know, preferences can get you in trouble too. You know, people prefer certain creatures. And will not come when the, the, the kind that they don't want they don't want shows up. So uh, Paul bunched them out of Paulus and Cephas and the Lord and said, They're they're just ministers. If you're born again, preachers are just servants of God. They're not trying to hide that. Yes, you honor them, and yes, you respect them, but you're hiding, highlighting them. You're jumping on a certain person's bandwagon, and you can cause some problems too that way. So you know that in Christ, the preachers are just ministers. And look at verse 9, chapter 39. Did Christ be the Yago Edo Tata? Christ be the Yao Edo? A Paul in Sinjin, a Pazel Sin, Adon, the Cephas and Sin, Dorchi, Zee, in Sinjin, Nenegi, Edo Baho, a boy at none, Adon. Verse nine, for we are what? Laborers. Hey, we're just laborers. 
Det är mat med örbisar. Det är ödes labor. Labors together. With who? God. Hey, we're laboring with God. Not the chicks that you're trying to create. Not the, the pastors that you like to back up and say, hey, amen to that. No. They're laborers. So you ought to uh, kind of respect them evenly. Ye are hus uh, God's husbands. Ye are God's building. You're at the, the cornfield. You're at the building. Hey, if something is going to come together, we need to have some unity. Yeah. We need some unity. And that's what we need. Oh, and I, I'm no beat shop preacher. I don't want to be a beat shop. A little shop would be better. And uh, so, hey, we're all in this together. If you need to get right about something, your attitude needs to change. Your life needs to change. You need to come down to back to reality at the foot of the cross. You know, it, it's level at the foot of the cross. <clears throat> you know, there's a guy by the name of John Wayne Gacy. He murdered around 30 teenagers and adults. And then he was uh, in Chicago jail. And the Baptist church on Sunday sent out some uh, ministers out there to witness to these inmates. And John Wayne Gacy heard the message. And he wept. And he uh, saw the cross. He saw Jesus crucified, bleeding out. Uh, uh, blood running down his face and a uh, thorn of a uh, crown on his head and all beat up and messed up. And he said, that was for me. So during the course of the week, he began to draw on the canvas, I guess. He, he made a nice uh, picture frame for the drawing. And he told these guys that were coming every Sunday, he said, I want you to take this to your pastor and give it to him. So the pastor, that was his story, the pastor's story. He said he received a, a painting of Jesus. All beat up, all messed up, bleeding all over. And this man, a murderer, got saved. You know, that's the foot of the cross. You know, God reaches all men. It doesn't matter what they have done. He can save them. Amen. And that, that is the story. You know, I have seen it again and again. How uh, these... Uh, People that uh, are on their last hope and get saved and get excited. Uh, so I was thinking, uh, look at verse 8. I think I read that, or maybe I didn't read it, but I'm thinking to read it again. Uh, okay, uh, he that planteth and he that waters are one. Did you know they are one planting? Uh, your pastor goes to um, Gallup Detention Center to plant. And then somebody else comes along and waters that. And every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor.
big, bro. Okay. How good do you feel with your service of the Lord? You're going to get your own reward, not mine, yours. That's what God is saying. You're going to get a reward. Not the one, that's not the one you get. Join the Krishna. Hey, ne. Shen, that ne. It's fine, so you have to eat the ten or the years and ten. Look at First uh, Corinthians one eighteen. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. No, that's a word, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. Hey, the power of God. It is God's power. He can save. God can save. You know, there's a guy that got saved and he was uh, saying, I have all of a, a lot of problems. I don't know how to say it to you. I said, S I N S I N I wrote on the board, I said, This is your problem. S I N. You want me to tell you about it? I said, sure. I told him about it and then uh, I asked him, agree with this, agree with this, agree with this. Yes, 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 all the way. And then at the end he wanted us to receive Jesus. He said, yes. After he prayed, I said, now let's go back to your problem. He said, you don't need to. Take care of it. That's all I needed. It was Jesus. And uh, so he was so happy. Oh, so 18, then to verse 21. Verse 21. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Save. The Lord can save. Oh, you can be saved. And then verse 23, there are to some, uh, but we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block, but under the, and under the Greeks foolishness. You know, for some, uh, preaching is a stumbling block. They want to try to work around it. Walking around it won't do. Just believe him. And he'll do the trick. He'll do the work. You know, I think uh, back at uh, 1 Corinthians 6 uh, 2. I think I better close sooner than I want to. Okay, six two. Do you do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Good question. If you're going to one day be a ruler in God's kingdom, why can't you take care of your problem now here? Why can't you take care of your sin? Why can't you get uh, hot and get excited about Jesus now? Hey, that's something that's before every one of us. 
You can be a child. You can love the Lord. You can uh, just do what God wants you to do here. It's your decision. Your decision. Do you want to go to church the way you've been going all these years? We sang the song, I surrender all. All to him I owe. That's a good rock to take. I surrender all. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this hour. Thank you that we can uh, just look at a book and uh, let you say what you want to say. Thank you for the prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Father and Son, the Chiefs. And so we'll, we'll go ahead and do an invitation now.
Thank you.